What's up everybody? Uh, Kevin Porter here. I uh, just pressed record for the second time on this video. This is uh, not something I wanted to sit down ever to have to do. I mean, I feel like the last five years of my life have definitely been filled with a lot of tragedy. And uh, yeah, this is not a video that I wanted to record now or ever. But you know, unfortunately, we live in a life where death is a very real thing. And we unfortunately have to experience it and go through it and grieve and process sadness. And that's just what it is to be a human. I mean, that is what it is to love, I should say. Uh, but, you know, here we go. This past Friday, uh, we lost our beloved family dog, Henry, uh, to a very unfortunate accident. Um, um, you know, these types of things happen, you know, where... Unfortunately, he, he just got out and uh, we, we live on a, a fairly, you know, large acreage of area of land where, you know, he is and has been able to roam. But I mean, he's one of those dogs that always, when you gave him an inch, he took a mile. Like any anytime it was like, hey, go outside. He, he, he wanted to roam. I mean, we've had him for 60 long years, six great, wonderful years with that dog. Uh, we spent... And um, he was, he wanted to be outside. Let me just assure you, like that was his happy spot. Like he wanted to be outside as much as he could. I mean, many days, I mean, um, you know, just taking him out, you know, every day, he, he didn't want to come back in. And, um, you know, Friday evening, me and my wife were getting ready uh, for, to go out for the evening. And, um, you know, again, we were living on a, a small little farm here, um, the kids were out with the dogs as you know you are many nights you know you take the dogs with you to go do whatever outside i mean i would do that anytime take out the trash henry and butters you're coming with me which butters is is henry's uh, uh like legit blood sister like we adopted her a little over a year ago um we adopted her as um it turned out we didn't even know we just she looked exactly like him <laughs> which was kind of funny uh, but my wife was just on Craigslist one day and like saw that somebody was giving away a dog for free, which my wife's like, uh, that's, that's not a good thing just to give a dog away for free. I mean, you never know what type of person is going to be out there that's just going to take a dog for free. I mean, it could go to a loving home, but it also could end up, you know, you, you just don't know. You don't know if it's going to end up just in a bat in a worse situation than it was. And so we stepped up with the idea, you know, of course, you know, oh, we're going to, you know, foster her for a moment, but... We quick we were quick to realize where my wife was quick to realize that uh, Butters was Henry's legit sister, and um, we compared like the the when we adopted Henry six years ago, um, his name his adopted name or his name at the time there was a uh, was Chocolate Chip, hers was Buttercup. So uh, the person that we adopted Butters from it was his girlfriend's dog so he was just in the process uh, again you know getting rid of her for whatever reason and we stepped up to adopt her which we did gladly because henry was our family and you know we adopted butters in order to provide some sort of sense of family to henry is as, as, as kind of dumb as that sounds but i mean to, just to provide you know uh, a companion for him and stuff and so for the last year and a half he was able to live happily with her i mean she has a she's very high anxiety which is not something new which is something new for us because henry we raised from being a pup and that dog i mean anybody that met henry if you knew henry he was the most friendliest dog i mean that dog i mean it was the joke was is like if somebody broke into our house like he would lead you to the he would lead you to the safe because he just he would bark he, he he showed it some intimidation and whatnot but like at the end of the day dude he was gonna be your best friend you know that's just how henry was and, um, you know, so again, you know, going back to this past Friday, I mean, it was just normal events, you know, going outside, getting the chickens put away, you know, my kids are doing their normal, normal chores and stuff. And just, you know, un unfortunately, somehow he, he wandered away. And unfortunately, just we weren't paying attention to him uh, like we needed to because it, it, kind of the rule of thumb with our family is like, you know, if you let the dogs out, you let them back in. So... I wasn't even aware that he was out, neither was my wife as we were getting ready and whatnot. And then all of a sudden we get a phone call. Uh, you know, my wife gets a phone call, I should say. And like, we're literally moments from leaving, which 
I had gone out to my garage here, you know, to my office out here, to, and I thought I left my wallet out here, but I didn't. So I walked out, walked in, and I noticed Butters was there, and I was like, oh, where's Henry at? And I walk inside, and, you know, I find my wallet. I see my phone ringing, because I heard, I heard some commotion, but it wasn't, like, I was in the other room on the other side of the house. I heard some commotion, and then I see my phone ringing, and it's my wife. I'm thinking that she's just in the car waiting for to, for to go. And she's in a panic and she, you know, says that Henry is dead and I need to get the car. And so I'm instantly in shock and, you know, lo and behold, we pull the car up and he's, he's right there, buddy. And it was one of the most traumatic situations I've ever had to deal with as, as, a, as a man in my life. I mean, I've lost my dad. I've lost my mom. I've lost my sister. I've lost my aunt. I've lost cats. I've lost dogs. Um, this one was the hardest. This this has proven to be the hardest one out of all of out of all the losses I've experienced. Like I love that dog. I mean, just to like, give a brief history on me, man. Like I had a family dog when I was younger. Her name was Tasha. Anybody that's known me for a long time knew her back when in high school. And she, you know, she grew up. She got old, and we had to put her down, and that was a really hard time. And that same year that I had to put her down, I experienced the loss of several cats as well. And like, I really like kind of hardened my heart to a point um, at the age of like 18, 19, where I was like, ah, animals are cool. I love animals, but I'm just not, nah, I don't want to give my heart to another animal. Well, you know, <laughs> six years ago, we, we never got a dog, me and my wife, like we never got a dog when we were younger because in our early years of our marriage and with our family with our kids just because we were renting you know no rentals would allow really would allow a dog so as soon as we you know started the process of owning our own home and purchasing property and whatnot I was like okay getting a dog so my wife is an avid dog lover I mean her her family is like they've always had dogs that's just something they've always had so like there was always the dream to you know let's get a family dog when the time is right and so, you know, like I said, going back to, you know, Butters and Henry, I mean, we, we found the ad in the, in the, the pound here, uh, you know, the local pound, he was just a pound puppy, you know, just, and those are the best puppies in my opinion. I mean, like, yeah, okay. Bre full breed dogs are cool. You know, you pay a lot of money for those, but I don't know. I, I just, in my experience with the dogs I've met over, over the years, man, it seems like those, those pound puppies are the best, dude. They just really are. I don't know why, but that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, like we adopted him chocolate chip named him henry because henry's a cool it's a cool name uh as soon as we moved out here the day we moved out here he was there and you know just we raised him as a puppy man um spent ever since covid you know it's just like obviously working from home the last like three years like um you know when covid happened obviously um there's a brief period where you know I wasn't working from home because we were remodeling and whatnot. And uh, so I was working at a the family business office and whatnot, just doing my job, which I don't work for the family business. But so I was, I needed a place, but nonetheless, that started the point of like where Henry was with me every day, you know, moving on from COVID <clears throat> or since COVID, I should say. And, um, you know, once the remodel was done and I was able to, you know, start just working from home and, you know, obviously they bring you back after COVID and, you know, COVID's done and whatnot. And like, hope this, <laughs> I hope this doesn't get flagged for saying the word COVID 20 times in a row. Um, but no medical misinformation on this one here. Uh, but with that being said, uh, you know, I've spent the last like three, every day, you know, he was there with me. You know, I was the one that was responsible. It was him you know because it was him you know he was he was my buddy we were together all the time I mean he was legitimately a family dog he loved everybody in the home albeit he loved I think he loved Jory the most out of our family and Jessica like he loved Jessica like that was her like emotional support dog like by all for all intents and purposes that was her dog like it was like funny because like I you know during the summer and stuff like they'd get to sleep in and whatnot so I'd have to get up and go to work um, or work, you know, <laughs> just in the room or whatever. But like, I would get up, and she'd get sleep in a little bit because she wasn't having to take the kids to to school or anything like that. Uh, but Henry just had a thing. Was as soon as I was up, he would take my spot in bed. And which, in my mind, I was like, oh, if I'm gonna give up my spot to any any man, it's 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 Henry, dude. <laughs> you know, any dog, you know, it's Henry because that was that was her, the love of her life. You know, for again, you know, 
It really was. And, um, you know, the, the purpose of this video is really just to, to, memor to remember him in the most fondest light that I can. Um, it took four days. It's taken four days to sit down and record this to build the strength up. Um, you know, obviously we do a lot of work on this YouTube page and there was, there was actually a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, plans this week for videos outside of just video rental chaos and spin this, you know, we're trying to expand. We're trying to, I mean, anybody out there that's a, a brand new viewer, you know, we say thank you. I noticed we did get a lot of new subscribers this last week off the last video rental chaos episode. And we say welcome to the show, <laughs> you know, welcome, you know, hopefully, uh, Lord willing and, you know, knock on wood, we don't have to record many more of these videos in the, in the future, man. Cause like, I just, but I feel it's necessary whenever a situation like this happens, you got to remember the good times. And I, I'm just, a, I'm, a, I'm one of those people that like, I'm not, I don't like to put this stuff out there for attention. Like I'm not looking for attention. This is more therapeutic. If anything, like anytime I post something about a situation, I have to put it out there in order for me to help like just put my feelings out there. Cause that's just the way I've always been in life. It's like, okay, if uh, something bad happens, I need to talk to somebody about it, you know? And I'm not a person for therapy. I'll be honest. Like I'm not, <clears throat> I'm just not that type of person. And, uh, you know, so we posted something up on Friday and a lot of my friends and family, they've reached out and, um, you know, anybody that knew Henry, you know, like it, it, it really surprised me how much it like hurt a lot of people around me. And just, I mean, it really shows, it goes to show you that Henry was like super loved, you know, he was a super loved animal and it's not something that we're going, he's not a dog that I'm going to forget ever. Cause I mean, going back to that talk about like how I not necessarily hardened my heart or whatever, but like, I just, I hadn't given my heart to an animal in a long time. And he was a dog I gave my heart to. And I think that's what makes it so, so hard. So, so hard. I mean, like, um, again, you know, I've lost a lot of people in my life and losing my dog is by far one of the harder things. I mean, it's sad to say that in a sense, you know, and you hear that and you, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about how to deal with the grief of losing an animal. And it's, it's just really, um, it's really funny how that a lot of people feel the same way. You know, they, a lot of people describe them as your children, you know, like these are your children, which I'm like, yeah, I totally understand that. Like he was my child. He was my wife's child. He was my son's brother or my, yeah, both my son's brother. You know, like we always, you know, we always said that like, oh, Jory, go get your brother son, or Jameson, go get your brother. You know, like what my wife always constantly described him like that. You know, he was a big goofy dog, dude. Like the big dumb dog, you know, and I say that with love, you know, so much love. And, and I just, it's, it's going to hurt really bad that he's no longer in our home. I mean, again, working from home, I, um, it's been hard the last two days, just this Monday, Tuesday, as I record this, like, you know, we have butters and butters, you know, when we say goodbye to Henry and we, we, we laid him to rest, on Saturday morning, I mean, she said her goodbyes to him and that tore me up so bad. But, you know, to her credit though, you know, you, you hear about dogs and, you know, dealing with loss and whatnot. I really feel like she's stepped it up. Like Henry, in the short amount of time they did spend together over the last year or so, like he showed her the ropes of our home and he she is just trying her best to to just show strength in her home and I think that's such an awesome thing to see that um and then you know I just you know it's just it's such a sad experience to have to go through something like this and I and again I know I'm not alone I know maybe somebody's going to stumble across this that's dealing with the same situation and hey man like or lady I love you I, I wish I could give you a hug because losing an animal is like the worst, is one of the worst experiences that we go through as human beings. And especially just, you know, I mean, we always say it as a joke, like, oh, I hate humans, you know, like humans are such assholes. And there's so much truth, man. There's so much truth in that because humans are assholes. We are assholes. But animals aren't. Animals are innocent. Animals give you unconditional love. And that's something we just don't get all the time unless it's from your animals, you know, like a cat, especially a dog, though. 
I think dogs just there's something about them being your companion. I was watching this one video and they said the Hebrew meaning of dog is like of your heart or something. Um, I don't know. I probably butchered that. And it's probably not necessarily specifically that, but it's just something of the heart, you know? And it's like, <clears throat> you know, it just, I don't know, man. I'm just super sad. I'm super sad right now. And I have to build the strength in order to, to move forward in life. And I feel moment by moment, I'm getting there. Today was hard. Uh, I, I, you know, I have my moments where I cry, you know, super hard and I allow myself that grief. You know, I never try to push that away. Uh, it's just, again, I, I just, I don't know, man, because you cry when you cry in life, you know, it's like when those moments come, you, you cry and like, now again, just like I lost my mom and sister just within the last like three years, basically. And I feel like I've cried more in the last couple of days for my dog than I did my mom and sister. And that's like, again, it, it's, it feels kind of fucked up to say that, but I mean, it's the truth. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. He was my baby. He was, you know, my wife's dog. He was my son's dogs. He was all of our dogs. He's our family dog, our first family dog. And, you know, my wife is dealing with this one really hard. I mean, everybody's obviously in the home is, is dealing with this one really hard. And there's no timetable to, to fix your emotions when it comes to something like this. Um, I mean, you, you like to think that, you know, there is some sort of lesson within this. You know, maybe the person that, you know, and I mean, we don't know who hit him, obviously. But, like, it's, you know, hopefully maybe it was you know, a young kid that is constantly speeding up and down that road. And, um, <clears throat> cause it's a country road out here and whatnot. And like, maybe there's a lesson in, in, in it for that person. You know, I don't know. Maybe there was uh, an illness of his that we had no idea of. And this is just God's way of, of, of you know, allowing him not to have to suffer through that. I don't know. I will never know. I, I won't know, but I can't dwell on the negatives and I have to build towards the positives because that's just how I am. Like I, I, I operate off having a positive mental attitude 24 seven. And the last four days has really been trying in that sense, you know, cause you don't want to wake. I mean, you have to allow yourself the sadness in order to find the happiness in life. And so you have to dwell on the sadness and you have to pick yourself up. And I feel recording this is one of those things that I have to do in order to to build myself back up from the ground up in terms of this loss because will there be another dog like absolutely like when will that happen I don't know I don't know like my wife's already like because she just you know we made this promise to each other that no matter what happens you know we we will always have animals in our home that's just something that we promised over the last couple of years because like you know, again, like no one's life, no one's life is like perfect or anything like that. But it's like, I look back on these past year, really since we got Butters. And even before then, you know, we had Max, my cat, which we got Max after Stan, we had to put Stanley down three years ago, you know, and Max has been such an awesome cat. I love that cat so much. Um, but we always talked about, you know, if anything ever happened, like we would always love animals. Like that's just something that her and I, like, it's just kind of one of those things, like, you know, the first like 10, 12 years of our marriage, like it was just, you know, it's like we never had animals because again, the rental and all that stuff. But once like now that we own property and own a house, so it's just like, okay, like never again, like we will never go without animals. Animals are such a blessing to us as human beings. And I think that, you know, obviously <clears throat> some people out there, they don't necessarily have that that love and they haven't experienced that love and to you people out there i hope one day you do feel that love because you know but unfortunately with love you know it does come um loss you know and uh loss is just a very hard thing for us to experience in life and uh it's it's something that we all have to deal with so this is me dealing with it in real time and um you know i love henry i'm always gonna love henry um, you know, I'm probably, I'm going to get definitely dinged for a copyright, not a copyright strike, but I'm definitely, it's, this is a video that will not be monetized because I'm going to pick out a sweet song to put some videos to, or put his pictures to, you know, 
after at the end of this video and whatnot so you guys can all see how much of a happy dog he was um i don't know i i, I just i love that dog with all my heart like super loved him I, my heart will always be with henry it, i will grow old to the day i die you know i will love that dog and i i pray that you know we do see our animals on the other side because i you know you always get that you always hear about that about oh you know dogs animals they don't have souls and i'm sorry i don't believe that i don't i don't you know i don't i don't believe that uh a caring god out there can create innocent soul innocent animals like that and not take care of them in the afterlife also you know and especially for the fact that they bring us so much happiness it's like i understand we have no control over sin and how sin entered into this world and i understand that you know free will plays a large part into the destruction the evil that we have here but animals are innocent and they don't deserve any any pain and i just don't see how how a god out there would not allow you know eternal salvation to these these creatures i just don't get it i don't believe it so in my opinion there will be a day I'm not going to sit here and preach to anybody, but like there will be a day when I see Henry again and I'll see Stanley and I'll see all my other animals that I've lost and top of all of our family members that we've lost. I feel like, you know, like I do believe in God and I do believe Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I've said that many times. If you go back on my, you know, podcast, um, and I've said that, I'm, I, I, it's, that's an open book for me. And it's not something I hide, you know, and uh, yeah. I, uh, we will pick up, we will build ourselves back up and, um, we'll be strong in this situation, you know, for Henry, cause we got to live on for Henry. Cause that dog was such a happy dog. If you knew him, he was your best friend. You came over to my house. He was your best friend. <laughs> so I guess we'll wrap this video up. Um, I guess final words never stop loving in life you know love is like the most powerful thing that we can experience in this world i think um so always love if you can you know and i understand we all we all have our ups and downs in life and that is just life unfortunately and it feels like the last handful of years i've experienced a lot of loss and this by far is one of the hardest experiences i've ever had you know again losing both my parents both my parents are dead like I cried when my dad died. I cried when my mom died. And I still miss them deeply. And same with my sister. I miss them deeply. Deeply, Like, my immediate family is basically all gone. But losing Henry was, that was, like, my best friend. And I'm going to miss him. And, you know, he's he's buried on our property, so I can, I can say hello to him whenever I want. He's on my phone right now. <laughs> and the picture of him is just such a goofy picture. It's him just, like... With his arm up and he's looking like over like that and so it's like anytime i look at it it's like he's looking at me and i'm always like what's up buddy uh what's up henry um you know so we'll carry on you know we we we, we still have butters and i love butters very much she's a very different dog compared to henry um but i love her and we have max and i love him and you know one day we will have another little puppy at our home and i love that puppy too but Forever I will love Henry. And until the next time, I don't know. I know I need to like end this video, but I'm like having a hard time. It's like, I, I want to find the final words for it, but I guess, you know, I love you, Henry. You were my best dog. It, it crushes me that you're no longer here. I pray that our family is able to gain strength in the days moving ahead without you and knowing that you were such a happy dog and you were such a rock in our home that again we can maintain strength and be able to move on as we have to in life and um i love you buddy i'll see you sometime down the road I love you, buddy. I'll see you later.
This is one of those beers that goes down easy This is one of those days that you don't look forward to Life's got lows, life's got highs Sometimes you gotta say goodbye And sometimes you gotta say it too soon Good trucks, they'll run forever If you keep boiling them and you treat them right A good woman holds you together She'll stick with you for the rest of your life Good buddies will always come running Got you back no matter what But good dogs don't live long enough yeah, It hurts like hell to lose them You never think about them not being around You know you'll never forget how could you when you grew up with them? If you've had one like that, you know what I'm talking about. Good trucks, they'll run forever if you keep boiling them and you treat them right. A good woman holds you together and she'll stick with you for the rest of your life. Good buddies will always come running, got you back. They'll run forever If you keep boiling them And you treat them right A good woman holds you together And she'll stick with you For the rest of your life Good buddies will always come running Got your back no matter what But good dogs don't live long enough Your good dogs don't live A man's best friend Lord knows mine was one of them Over the years and through the miles He stayed right there by my side From taking walks and chasing balls Running up and down our halls Those memories I won't forget I know he's not here But man, I bet If good dogs go to heaven that's where mine's gotta be Jumping through the waves and playing fish On a beach by the crystal sea I bet he's riding around with Grandpa On those shiny golden streets And if good dogs go to heaven He'll be at those pearly gates Waiting on The closer we grew And it didn't matter where we'd go But if there's a chance Yeah, I just know If good dogs go to heaven That's where mine's gotta be Jumping through the waves And playing fetch On a beach by the crystal sea I bet he's riding around with Grandpa On those shiny gold Dogs go to hell 
Cause the good dogs go to heaven And that's where mine's gotta be Jumping through the waves and playing fetch On the beach by the crystal sea 